Today we're going to take a look at the replacement solenoid for Curtis Snowplow. This is a 12 volt DC 100 amp intermittent duty solenoid. Now this is going to basically act as the switch between your vehicle's battery and the motor on your snowplow. So whenever this is activated it's just going to be a coil that either magnetizes to interrupt that flow or connect it. This is going to be a direct replacement for that solenoid again on your Curtis snowplow. As far as the dimensions on this, if we look at the bottom, there's going to be a little plate that this can attach to. It's got two mounting holes there. The dimensions for that bracket, it's going to be about two and seven eighths of an inch wide from outside edge to outside edge. The mounting hole itself, their mounting holes themselves are going to be about uh, two and an eighth of an inch apart. The dimensions of those holes are also going to be about three-eighths of an inch by a quarter of an inch. Just to give you an idea of the kind of hardware that you'll need to attach this. It does not come with any hardware to attach it, so you'll have to pick that up on your own. There's some nuts and bolts or self-tapping screws, wherever you need to mount this up. For our connections, it does come with the nut and lock washer on each of the three posts. So you have the nut and lock washer for each of those to hold down your wires. Now the overall height of this, whenever it's mounted flat with that bracket to the top of the bolt, that is going to be about three and three quarters of an inch tall, so that lets you know how much space you need there. You always want to make sure that you're not going to have any metal that's going to come in contact with this because that could give you a false read or false uh, operation of your solenoid. And then as far as the width, again, going from the outside edge of the bolt on one side to the outside edge of the other, that is going to be about three and a half inches. The depth going from the front of the solenoid to the back, that's going to be about two and a half inches. Again, this is going to be that intermittent duty solenoid with 100 amps and it has those 90 degree mounts or the 90 degree mounted three posts and that's going to do it for our look at the replacement solenoid for Curtis Snowplow.